And that's those are the images I used from the website to help me kind of uh, work on the confirmation. Well, that's a typical typical way yeah, you take a picture of a koi. I know it. That's a lot of work. <laughs> What is this? Is this clay right now? It is clay right now. It's still not finished. I need detail in certain areas, Red. Uh, the fans still need work. Uh, the whiskers. Um, the bellies on some of them still need some blending. But the general thing is there. I'm just looking for confirmation and uh, any last minute corrections so I could tweak it later. Uh huh. I got but the, com that's good. the confirmation was basically based on, I looked at the uh, images that were online from the Japanese champs and I noticed they were wider so that's where I went wide. One, one thing, right in this area here, uh -huh. by the time a fish gets to be this size and this round, they generally have a little bit of a, a little bit of a hump in here before they get to the head. Okay. Uh, I think that's a strain. I don't think. Is it? I think it's a certain okay. strain, but that is true. See, I was debating: do I put a hump, make it a little more obvious, and I just say eh, I went somewhere in between. Yeah. So you just. I'm sorry. Is it been baked? No, this is a oil-based yeah. clay. It never gets baked. I use it, it to make does. molds. Yes. But, but even and it's a combination between the wax and the clay. It felt like it. Yeah, it feels yeah. like a clay, yeah. like modeling clay. Yeah. Yes, exactly, that's what it does. That's mm -hmm. true. And then if the fish is the naturally the, the... No, I have styrofoam the in there. Mold. The mold is the next process on this year, yes. Uh -huh. I think they're really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Really I was telling them, they look so good, I want to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's what we need to hear. <laughs> They're beautiful. They're yeah, beautiful. Nice. Very nice. And you're going to do an underwater setting? Is that what you were thinking? Yes. Uh, there's going to probably be a, maybe a, all three koi. The main one will, will encompass all three koi. This one's shooting up to the surface with his mouth open. Initially, it was going to go after a small little frog leaping. Uh -huh. But some folks said, uh, we well, don't like a frog with the koi same. But then after the restaurant, people in back in Florida, they go, we want the one with the frog. So I said, okay. okay. So I said, okay, we'll work with it. So anyhow, some of the actual compositions will house maybe two koi, the main one three, and other ones will be freestanding one koi by itself. Initially, this uh, fin, this particular spine, was higher up. I snapped it off, so I may have to put it back on. Yeah. yeah. I noticed here you've got that fish is only ten and a half. The spine coming out a little bit more on this side. Is that intentional or? No, I think what I'm gonna do is basically dig in here and make it look like it it okay. took a bend somehow. Well, right. But I, you're yeah. correct. It is too thick. Last night I figured let me get this ready for Pam. So I did about eight hours work yesterday on this here, and I figured out yeah. I'll do corrections later. So how many hours have you put in this? I don't count my hours. There's just too many. Oh, God. Uh, you said you've been off and on it for a couple of years? Then, yes. A bit. Uh, the scales on this here probably... Eight, sure they four, took about 40 hours. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, on this here, if you want you guys to check out the belly. This is this is the last I didn't have a big one bust on it. I don't even want to be close. Yeah. It's hard to tell. I notice I notice some fishes had a smooth belly while others had scales and they had these indentations, dimples, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and most, of the, most of the ones I've seen have relatively small scales down here, and they do have the, the, uh, the anus right about in here. That's around Oh, that's what I'm missing here. Too. Uh, yeah. That, that's a uh, good option. There's one particular one here that was a pretty good shot. Mm -hmm. It's not called the anus, it's the cloaca. Yeah, yeah. 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 This one here. Yes. See how, yeah, the dimples we have there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's just scales. You know what? I, I just think they need to change the scales. Might be. They get, they get spread out, stretched out. The skin gets stretched out. Might be. Down just here. Down. Now, do all the koi have scales in the belly area yeah. too? Yeah. I think it's wrong. I think they're back yeah. to the scaleless. Well, the scaleless won't, of course. Yeah, this is but the, the scaleless, that scales only so along the, the sides. 
the right down the center line and uh, mm -hmm. and up along the, uh, the dorsal ridge. Yeah. That was so scary. Yeah. But this has come a long way when you first brought your little popsicle fish. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, because it didn't have any movement. Yeah. Pull it out. Well, what you do is, uh, well, let me just back up. The way I'm going to do this one is basically create it. It's called a blanket mold. Okay. I would put clay over the whole thing, maybe a quarter inch, half inch thick uniform throughout, yeah. but before that I will protect the fish and put cellophane wrap around it so the clay does not disturb or gets added to my actual mold okay. or piece. At that point I put plaster over it, so thick, that's called the mother mold, and when it dries you separate the pieces and you come back and cut out and create your seam lines on the rubber. This piece gets popped out. And that's how you pull it out. Yes. Actually, you push it back out. Yes. Yeah. This is an area here. Very delicate work. You gotta know what you're doing. It's bad. So how close to this size will the final version come out? That's gonna be it. This Same is size, it's yeah. gonna actually be it. After yes. all of that. We get a slight shrinkage, not much though. Can you make this? It's fabulous. And that's you can even see here what's there. And this one, I, the small oh, yeah. ones are very, 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 very thin. Very thin. Yeah. And this one I was able to get here. Oh, yeah. Now make sure that they're in the right position. Well, that, that also varied. We're looking at a, oh, yeah. um, Lisa's koi. Some had it further up, some were had it within the actual fold. And I said, my God, where do they go? And some are actually uh, deformed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't lose my our paper here. Yeah. That's, That's before my time. <laughs> oh, you got that right. You, know, you got I, that right I, on me. Okay. What I was saying is the small one versus the large one. The large mm -hmm. one. You, know, yeah, my wife and I, so you little things like this, I almost think is a little too fat. Okay. And it, it just needs to be more gradual. I like the fullness. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you as the artist would have to take a look and see what to do, but I would... The point where exactly where you think is too fat, the actual wider part right there? Right okay. here. Maybe. At that age, I don't think a female fish... It's just my own personal opinion, okay. you know, and every every koi is different. Mm -hmm. And um, But if you look at it this way, if you look at it on the side, it looks fabulous. It looks so... Also, I know I have to revisit this one because I notice under different lighting. Feel this here? That's not correct. They're more streamlined. Go, oh, go up yeah, and down yeah. this way. Feel that? I can feel the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. The ribs are going the wrong way. <laughs> I think the most difficult part is the head. And I think you really, really captured what I think we as judges would look okay. for. We also look at the distance between the eyes and the nose. This is a little short. Okay. How much length do you think I should I add to it? I don't know. Louie? I was saying we always look at the distance between the eye and uh -huh. the mouth, and this one looks a little short. If you look, this one is even a little longer. But this is a little... Right. It's a little shorter, stockier. Yeah. 